The Portuguese man of war is a siphonophore that can be found floating on the surface of the ocean in tropical and subtropical areas around the world. A siphonophore is not a true jellyfish or even a single organism. Each siphonophore is actually a colony of organisms called polyps or zooids that work together to survive. These polyps are so specialized that they cannot live without each other. The uppermost polyp is a gas-filled float called a nematophore that sits above the water. The other polyps are digestive polyps called gastrozoids, defensive tentacles called dactylozoids, or reproductive polyps called gonozoids. The tentacles average about 30 feet long, but they can be over 100 feet long. The tentacles are covered with stinging cells called nematocysts that help the siphonophores capture food as they drift. The stinging cells have tiny, coiled stinging barbs that shoot out and inject venom whenever they are disturbed. Since these colonial organisms cannot propel themselves, they rely on the winds and currents to move them through the open ocean. The position of the sail on their float determines what direction the wind blows them. They sometimes drift in swarms of over 1,000. They feed on organisms like small fish and plankton that are paralyzed by their tentacles. Once prey is caught, the tentacles retract and draw the prey up to their digestive polyps. Enzymes are secreted that digest the prey. A Portuguese man of war still has predators like sea turtles and ocean sunfish. The sting of a Portuguese man of war causes excruciating pain in humans, but it is very rarely fatal. They are generally found far out in the ocean, but they are sometimes washed up on beaches in swarms when there are high winds. A washed up man of war can still sting. Each man of war is either male or female. They reproduce sexually by broadcast spawning in large groups. The resulting larvae will each form their own colony of organisms by asexual budding. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.